Most of us are pretty good at waiting for things. We wait in line at the grocery store. We wait each morning for our coffee to brew. We wait in traffic. We wait for our favorite sports season to arrive. We wait for summer and winter and spring and fall. We expect to wait and we're okay with it. But when God makes us wait, we find ourselves feeling discontent, anxious, questioning our creator. If God is for me, why is he making me wait? And if we're not careful, we can become hopeless. And before we know it, we've given up on working hard to do good. The Thessalonian church faced this while waiting on Jesus to return. You see, they thought that they could just do nothing while they waited. But the Bible teaches us that there's still work to do in the midst of our waiting. In 2 Thessalonians chapter 3, Paul speaks about the pitfalls of idleness with this reminder in verses 7 through 8. For you know that you ought to imitate us. We were not idle when we were with you. We never accepted food from anyone without paying for it. We worked hard day and night, so we would not be a burden to any of you. Paul goes on to say that idleness can lead us into even more sin. Verse 11 says, We hear that some of you are living idle lives, refusing to work and meddling in other people's business. Laziness, backbiting, slandering, and gossip developed from their idleness. Listen, whatever we might be waiting for, we must make sure that our waiting never turns to idleness. Paul says in verse 13, Dear brothers and sisters, never get tired of doing good. Let me ask you this. What would your life look like today if you began to work hard in everything that you do and do good towards everyone you meet?